I don't know what this is going to be called. This is one of these things I always take a lot of crap for. Is it's it's not obvious to everyone two to three years out, but as we get two or three years down this road, it's going to be so obvious, and it's going to be called something like prompt ops or DevOps prompts or <laughs> Linux by prompt. <laughs> really, like you know, like you're going to have a Linux machine as a system administrator, and you're just you're going to have something on the command line that you work with. If you go over to GitHub.com and you look at the CLI tag and you look at the most popular projects in the CLI category, every other project practically is some sort of LLM tool on the command line. I mean, even back at Summit, right? Red Hat came out with Lightspeed and their little C tool for the command line. Yeah. That kind of stuff is going to be the norm. It's just going to be one of the tools on your, you know, like you have some stuff that can suggest commands. There's going to be LLM tools that do that. And there's just going to be a name for it, like DevOps became a thing. I mean, that's already one of the uses, just especially that, like throwaway scripts, quick little things to clean up files, or like do you have a particular manipulation that it's maybe not worth me scripting, but like a script would be better than me doing it manually. I love that. And I actually think there is a future where small, local, micro LLMs or whatever you want to call them are actually going to be better at this particular stuff that we're about to talk about than the chat GPTs or the clods. There will be in the future models that you can run in your text editor that will be possible on a desktop machine that is just super focused on config files or PHP or whatever it is that you do. And that's point, its whole world. That's kind of some of what Red Hat is offering with some of this new development yeah. live speed. Yeah, yeah. Like they have stuff targeted at enterprise migrations of legacy software or migrating to containers and stuff like that. But it's, you know, they have models you can self-host that they've figured out optimized for these particular types of problems. 